Hello guys! Today we are going to check out my new USB one with a quick charger and one with a stock charger. This is one of the newest ones I can find on uh, Amazon. And as maybe some of you know, I have tested a lot of USB chargers over the last year. I will provide links from up here and down below later. Like this. But this one has a new nice voltmeter design. It's some LEDs that goes around here and it is pretty accurate. So let's take them to my workplace and test them at the laboratory we have there. Okay, now we are in the laboratory. One here with the quick charge uh, 3.0 and one with the standard 2.1 amp chargers. I will now um, do a quick test to show you the, the voltage meter, how accurate they are. They are, because they are really good. So, let's start the test. Okay, hopefully you can see this, but uh, the scale on both of them are starting at 11.0, uh, 11.4, 11 11.8 and, and so on. So, now they are both 11.8 and we see it's 11.8 over here. So. Let's put it up to 12.2 and see how that goes. Oh, a little too far. 12.2, both 12.2. That is very accurate. Next one is 12.6. And you see this one went straight to 12.6. This is a little lower. Here we go. I will say that is uh, pretty accurate as well. 13.0. Oh. Both 13.0. 13.4. Oh. There we go. Yes, I say both accurate. And this will continue, of course, 13.8. 14.2 This one is a little slower. There we go. And then when you go to 14.6 which is the maximum before you will now see if at 14.7 you get a red warning on both of them because that is way too high charging voltage for a car battery. So, 14.6, both red went out. You can also disable the display by pushing the button. It will indicate that it's still on by this red dot. If you press on hold, you will turn it off. You notice over here that amperage is dropping. Zero. One push. And one push. Yes. Done. Let's uh, check the quick charger. I have this uh, this guy with the voltmeter on. Oh. Okay. Let's connect my phone which is a quick charge phone then you see it's going like this and you will also see it's going to the 9 volt 8.67 volt and you see it's pointing 1.3 amps if you don't like to see this uh, pattern you can just push the switch and it will still charge 8.7 volt and uh, 1.42 amps. But of course, it looks very nice. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, that was the quick charger. And of course, both ports are quick charge ports. Let's see here. Here we go. 8.96 and the amperage will soon rise. There we have it. 1.4 amps. Yep. 
So both ports or this one is quick charge 3.0. This one is a standard port. You see it's uh, white. The other one was uh, blue. So this one will then go to only 5 volt, 4.97 volt, amperage, yeah, 0 0.6. But the same pattern, and of course the same on this one, you can switch it off. The red dot indicates it's on, if you press and hold, it go off and it's black and uh, yeah, this one is still on. There we go. Zero. One press and we are back in business. But slow charge drive, still 1.2 amps, pretty decent, at least on this one. 0 0.6 from there. And when we go back to this one. Starting with slow amp first, and then it raises. You will see it over there as well. At 1.4, 8.8 volt. Amazingly nice. I must say this is one of my new favorites. Especially about this uh, gauge that seems to be very accurate. Okay, there we have it. That's the short summary of these two. I will say excellent USB ports. You also, of course, has this tiny little lip, which is covering the USB port from uh, dust and shortings or so, something, and still display the voltmeter. Nice, eh? Same on this one, of course. I like the design. Very clever, easy to see. Just a quick look and you can see if it's green or if it's red or orange. I would say uh, highly recommended from me. And I know a little about USBs because I have tested a bunch of them earlier. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching guys. See you again in the next one. Goodbye.